I'll be showing you how to take apart a MacBook and replace the thermal face. So first, you need an iFixer toolkit, and you will need a P5 screwdriver. Next, you'll need a spudger to remove the battery connector, and we're replacing thermal paste, so we need, we will need a uh, new thermal paste. In this case, I picked Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut because it's the highest performing thermal paste without liquid metal in it. So good paste, I recommend it. And this is um, this is uh, your choice, but I chose RT Clean to clean the thermal paste off because I know that my Mac will have dry thermal paste. So it will be easy to clean with these. I recommend these. Okay. Slowly so remove all the screws using a P5 Pentalube screwdriver. Just to let you know that these two screws have slightly longer screws. So as you can see, the slightly longer screws are those are in those two screw holes and all the other ones are the shorter screws. Next, wedge your finger in between the the lid and this part so it just pops open. As you can see this is the battery connector, this is the SSD, this is the Wi-Fi card and this is the heatsink cooling thing, this is the CPU and this is the fan. Just connect the battery, gently lift up from the two sides. Now disconnect the fan, uh, the fan and I.O. connectors. Gently lift them up with a spudger. Yep. And for the other side. And it looks like this. Now let's remove the cable connecting to the eyesight camera. So we need to take the end of the spudger and carefully just let it walk the cable out of the socket like that. And now we can pull the adhesive off gently. Like that. Now remove the ZIF socket. So we need to push it out like this. Like that. Now it's time for the fan disassembly. So we need a T5 screwdriver to remove the fan. Now that we have all the screws out, let's remove the fan. But this time, do not remove the fan all the way. So you just remove the fan like this and you gotta remove the ribbon cable that is here carefully pull it out like this now remove the four T5 torque screws securing the heat sink to the larger board Gently lift it up. And da da! You got a removed heatsink. 
So first we want to remove the excess thermal paste from the heatsink. So apply some of the Arctic Thermal Remover 1 and you want to completely saturate it. So drop it in like that and leave it on for like 60 seconds or, or 30 seconds. Also use a sponger to remove the excess um, thermal paste. Take your microfiber cloth and wipe it gently. As you can see, the thermal paste is coming off very, very easily. Perfect. Polish the surface, apply some drops on your um, microfiber cloth. And wipe it. Repeat the same process for the CPU. Okay, so take your thermal paste and just apply just a small line on the CPU. Don't forget to screw in your um, screws in a crisscross pattern so this thermal paste will get spread out evenly. Put these steps in reverse and you're good to go. Thank you for listening. Check out part two and don't forget to like and subscribe.